Hello everybody, welcome back to DACU's Secret Recipes. Did you try that one? I hope you did, because that was a cracker I done last week, a cracker. Right, this one, it's, it's a lovely summer's day, right? So in the end, I thought, bloody, a beautiful day to do baking, yeah? I'm not much of a baker, I like baking, but I don't do a lot, the missus usually does it. But this today, I'm gonna do a nice blackberry and apple pie for you, yeah? The blackberries are grown in the garden, so it makes it easier. I've got a nice, plump, beautiful cooking apple I'm gonna use as well, with a lovely short crust pastry. All right, I'll show you how to do it, all the recipes and everything. I'll write this one down, because this one's a bit more complicated. Okay, let's see how it goes, all right, over here. Right, here we go, first things first, let's do the pastry. It's a nice short crust pastry, this one. You use white plain flour, use some lard or butter, whatever you use. I use stalk because I just prefer it, and some sugar. I use a couple of teaspoons of sugar for the pastry, which is perfect. The rule of pastry is to use, whether you use flour, use half butter or margarine or whatever you use. Okay, so in my case, this one, for one pie, I'd say four ounces of, of pastry, it's four ounces of flour to two, two ounces of butter. And that'd be grand. Right, here we go. Let's make the pastry. First of all, nice clean hands, please, people. Wash them thoroughly. No one likes a bogey or anything like that in the pastry, all right? Nice and clean, with my hands. I look like I'm having manicured these days. Oh well, that was story. Right, first of all, in with the old stalk. Goes in there. And the flour goes straight on top of it. Right, the idea with this is to get in there with your fingers, just your fingertips, yeah? Just use your fingertips, it doesn't make it so dry, don't overwork it. So just work that in like that. Hope you can see that. Just work in the butter in with the marge, the, the marge with the flour, and keep on doing it. Make it the, keep on doing it until it comes to like, like breadcrumbs, yeah? Nice little breadcrumbs, and once it's got to breadcrumbs, we'll be fine, all right? I'll cut back to that in a minute with the old breadcrumbs. Right, that's done. Nice breadcrumby, see that? Just looks like breadcrumbs to me. All the marge is all put into the flour and not too many big lumps. That's perfect, yeah? Right, what we goes in there, we get the sugar in here now. It's about two teaspoonfuls of sugar I've used in this pastry. All right, that goes in on top. And I just mix that in. Just use your hands. I like using my hands when I'm cooking. I think that's wonderful. Right, that's all mixed in beautiful there. Right, now to bind it together now to make a pastry, I'm gonna put a bit of egg in now. Well, what I do, I get an egg, I crack an egg, I mix it all up and I put a bit of milk in there as well. Cause I think that, it's just better for me anyway. Yeah, put a bit of milk. I just put a little teeny bit into here, about that much, and just make it go in. So it goes into a pastry. When it all binds together, all right, so that's a bit more, just a bit more that one. There we go, bring it all in. Try, the base. try not to overwork it, but just try to get it together now so it comes together and a nice ball. More milk, milk and egg. Keep on mixing it. This is dry. Must be the must be working under the lights, that's what it is. <laughs> Not used to cooking under lights. Right, that looks great now. Really, really good. Get it all together in one big ball. Get it all on there. Beautiful. Here we go. This is what you're after. Get all the bits in. That, that's perfect, right? That goes into cling film now, yeah? For about half hour in the fridge, okay? So we come back, I'll put it into a bit of cling film. About a half hour. I'm gonna do the, the fruit next, so we go into the fruit, okay? Right, here we go. The pastry's in the fridge, all nicely cling filled up, and resting in there for about half hour. This is it, we come to the fruit now, we get a nice apple, a nice cooking apple, about as big as that, and we quarter that with the old knife. Just quarter it, yeah, which I've done already. This is the one I've done, this is the one I've done before. That's what you do here, you go to this, just cut into there like that. Cut into it like that, get the core out. It's easy peasy. Get a nice peeler. You just start peeling, peel this down. Get it down to that size like that, and just cut them into small pieces. If you, you make the pieces exactly the same, yeah, they will cook evenly. So that's a good tip. Always make them exactly the same. Cook nice and evenly, be beautiful. Right, when you've done that, you get a bottle. This is where the other, the other um, apple went to. Put them into there, into nice cold water, and it keeps them from colouring. Okay, that's a nice tip. Always put me cold water, stop some colour in. Right, that's the apples done, it's perfect. Onto the blackberries. Get a nice palette of blackberries, just really lovely. Give them a good wash. You always get a little bit of water after you've washed them. Drain them off, a little bit of water. That's good. If that has stopped them sticking in here. Okay, so you wash them into the pot, which is good. You get half the sugar, which is two tablespoons of sugar. I can't remember if I said that before. Put half in this one. About half, that'd be lovely. Perfect. That goes on the pot as it is there. The apples, I've drained the apples off there, they've got a bit colour, but it doesn't really matter. Put the rest of the sugar in there. 
Perfect. So you get the two pots like that. They both go in the oven. They both go on the stove. Right, here we go. Onto the stove. Light these two up. Beautiful. That one there. And that one there. Right. A really, really low gas on these people. Really, really low. As low as you can get it. All right, and keep them moving, yeah? You stir them, keep them moving. They've just got to break down a little bit. That's all they've got to do is break down. Not too much. They don't mind moving the same spoon because they've both got the same fire. Yeah, not too much. You better see what it's breaking down. I'll show you later on how all of them's done just before you put them into the pie. Okay? So just break these two down, but keep an eye on them. Really, really don't walk away. Don't play any PlayStations. Don't watch no Carnation Street on TV or nothing. Keep eye on these because they will burn. All right, mark my words. Right, here we go. These have been on about, about four minutes now. Something like that. That's going to be hotter. Set that off in there. Beautiful. These are gorgeous now. The apples have gone down. They're getting nice and soft, which is gorgeous. Ready for the pie. And the blackberries are beautiful. This is the time you as well, if you want to taste it, just get a little bit of thing here. Oh, perfect. Really, really lovely. A little bit of tartness to them. That's what you want. That's what I love anyway. Sweet tartness and it all mixed together and it's gorgeous. Right, there we go. These are the two fruits I've done. There's a lot of juice on that one. I'd, I wouldn't use all that juice in the pie. Take a little bit of juice off where you're gonna put it into the pie. Okay, it's still kept its shape, which is quite nice. And it tastes better as well. Good, not a little bit of nice to it, yeah? Right, that goes up there. Next we've got to do is the pastry. The pastry's been in about, about half hour to three quarters of an hour. I'm gonna use half this pastry just to make the, the, the pie, okay? That goes out for now. But first of all, we wanna prepare the, the, the baking tray. Yeah, so to prepare the baking tray, I get a bit of barge, a bit of the old stalk here, get a little bit of grease proof, just put a little bit of there, okay? Just rub that in, get all the corners, so it doesn't stick, put it in your hands, get it on your hands as well, it don't matter. All right, can you see that? Nicely marged, that one, nicely marged, I just thought of that. Inside here we put some flour, put the flour all the way around it, more. Don't matter because this is one good thing with rolling, so it doesn't matter if the, the flour goes down on top of that. So make sure that's all on there. Make sure it's covered completely. All the way around so it doesn't stick. We're just going so it doesn't stick on this one. Okay, goes out there. Just knock it out. That's what we're after. Okay, so if this is as good as that, a bit, here, a bit more margin I'm going to put on there and it'd be better. Much better. Okay, if you get to that, we're okay. Right, that's the tray done. Beautiful. Right, loads and loads of flour on this one because this is one you do the rolling. Yeah, put the thing you don't want. I don't know. It's, it's like a. I'm not too sure how to explain it really. It's just do um. It's just a what I do is I put this on here and I just get a rolling pin as well because I want to get loads of here as well. So I like to put it on the thing and just get your rolling pins. Just so it doesn't stick. That's all we're doing it for. You say so it doesn't stick. Okay. So that's it like that. Go with this. So I said before, use about half of this one. That's perfect. Put that away for another day. I'll put, or to do the lid actually. Right, it goes in there. So this one goes here. Just put it on, on, onto the on. Make sure it's got loads of flour on, onto the flour and start rolling. Yep, just roll it away for yourself. I'll do it anyway. Just keep on turning it round. Rolling, rolling. Do not overwork it. I said before, try not to overwork this because it will go shorter and shorter as it goes and it'll be unmanageable to use. Keep it going round. Beautiful, keep the old flour on. Get it as thin as you can, this one, because it's got to go over this, don't forget. Once you go over that, we're fine. Perfect, okay, so get your, get your rolling pin. Just scrunch it up this a little bit. Put it onto there, and just roll it back like that. Yep, yeah. keep it back, get your pot. Put it over top, just lift it up, and just place the thing back on, like that, which is beautiful, yeah? But this time, don't try to push it in. Try to lift and put it in. If it does break, don't worry about it. Because you can always just fill it in. Just lift it up, place it into the bottom, which is perfect. That's lovely. The pastry's put in there, beautiful. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna, we're gonna bake this blind, right? I'll show you how to do that. Just leave it like that. Well, before I show you this bit here, <clears throat> that goes onto the pastry. Into the thing there. And before I do that, I forgot, just make a few little holes, let the pastry breathe. Don't want that to swell up too much. It's the whole idea of this thing. Try to keep its shape at the bottom. So put that in there. Got some of these, <clears throat> some rices I use. I've used these for years and years and years. Just get them, put them in the, in the oven. They're beautiful. 
about that much. Wonderful. That will keep it shaved in the oven. And so we could do this blind, it'll take about, about 10 minutes, something like that. So I put this in the oven on a gas mark four, preheated oven, and I'll show what it's like afterwards, all right? Right, while that's been in the oven, I've done the other bit, the other half what I kept, put it onto the thing, same process, rolled it out as quick as I can, put it onto there, and that's gonna go, that's gonna be our lid for the pudding, right? So what we do is I'll leave that there, if that's all nicely rolled out, I'll get the stuff out of the oven. Right, so you take the, you take the, um, the rice out, that's just kept it there, so it's, look at that, it's beautiful. So the idea of that is just stop rising, that's all it's done, just stop it rising, it's in there like that. Right, so what we're gonna do now, we can just lay the fruit into it. Get the apples, nice bit of apples, put a nice liberal bit on, nice liberal. Is that the word liberal? I don't think it is liberal. I like apple, I don't know about you. I like a bit of apple, so stick it all in there, layer it up. Oop, don't escape, sir, don't escape, get back in. Perfect. Put that out there. Right, get this, as I said before, I don't want the juice of this, not, not as much juice anyway, so we're just gonna drip the old juice off a bit and just sprinkle these over, separate them out so you get a bit of blackberry all over. Beautiful that'll be. Have back up there again. A bit more apple on top. Don't matter if you don't use this apple because it will taste nice later. You do it too high the fruit. Don't need it too high. It will find its own way down it. Concentrating, it'll be concentrating, my head's going over. Beautiful, just like that, all right? Put a few more of these in, because I do like a bit of this. I do like a bit of blackberry. That is gorgeous. Right, we're gonna put the, the lid on top first of all, but first of all, we're gonna do an egg wash. Remember the egg wash we, we, we made before? Yeah, get all of this, nice and liberal, round the edges. We're just gonna stick it together. Goes all the way around. It's a bit crumbly, a bit of luck. You've gotta break it up to eat it, you know what I mean? So don't worry about it, it's a bit crumbly yourself. Nice liberal mix of the whole thing, we. The eggs, beautiful. Goes over there. Right, lift this. Some people cut this in, in on to, to shape. I, I like to cut it at it all, just in case I've made a mistake like I have there. It's a bit, it's got a bit sticky. All right. So put it out now. Go away from yourself. And really fuck it up like that. Right, sometimes that happens. I was a bit of a struggle there getting that fucking top on. But I've got it at the end. It's a bit patched up. I cut away, I panicked and chucked. Chucked it all over the kitchen, really. I wouldn't pick it all back up again. Stuck it on there. There's a few years, but it'll be fine. <laughs> right. That's you get to the stage like that. It looks a bit messy, but it's going to taste gorgeous. Yeah? It's cooled down a bit now. So get hold of your knife and just go around the edges. Just trim off the axis. Axis? Axis. For the old stuff. Just trim it round. Like that. You see that? That's lovely. It's got a few pastry bits in it, but it'll go lovely. Once it's like that, you get your egg wash again. And give it a nice liberal mix, mix a nice liberal coating of the egg wash, and make it beautiful and brown when it goes in the oven. How's that? That's beautiful. Some people put a little rose on top and all that, you know, thing like that. But I can't be bothered. But on top of this, what I like to do is put just a bit of sugar, just a sprinkle of sugar. Just give it a nice thing. It just makes it nice and sweet. Because really, I've got a sweet tooth, even though I'm dieting all the time. Right, that goes into the oven on a mark four for about. About 20 minutes, something like that, but keep an eye on it. It should go nice golden and brown. All right, we'll stick that in the oven. All right, here we go. Beautiful pie. So we call it a nice rustic pie, that one. That's lovely. Can't wait to eat it. Maybe next year when I'm not dieting. <sighs> right, there you go. Beautiful, wasn't it, eh? Give that one a go, because that is a lovely, lovely treat for yourself and your family, all right? Enjoy it. I'll see you later. Bye.